Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are having Whataburger. Good morning. <laughs> I have a breakfast sandwich on a bun. Um, it has sausage, bacon, and eggs. I think it has cheese, is it? That looks good. <clears throat> oh, and it has cheese. I also got a what a catch, y'all. I don't know if I've ever had a what a catch. And what about I don't think I have. Have you? Yeah. Anyway, I don't think I have. Anyway, I got extra tartar sauce. I have onion wings and I have my cranberry pineapple juice. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. And, uh oh, I forgot. <laughs> my Dr. Pepper shake. Yes, y'all. Oh, so excited. <laughs> Go ahead. I got a water catch too, but mine just had ketchup on it, just how I like it. And I got a triple water burger with lettuce, mustard, Pickles and jalapenos. Word up. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious you get? French fries and a Sprite no ice. That's what we sipping on. Yeah, and we got lots of topics to talk about tonight. Well, this morning. It's morning. Let's go. Well, let's hand God to put the thanks for this food and receive the blessings. Amen. Amen. Please bless this food. Amen. In your name. Amen. Can, can you start this saying, bless the food? I receive the blessing like it's already understood. I'm receiving the really? blessings. If you're receiving the blessings, you you're getting ask, blessed. Don't you? That's my, God know my heart. Okay. God know what I'm asking for. You're right. You have to already be thankful, already expect to be receiving it. So I guess I was too expected. Take a yummy bite, y'all. Mmm. Hey, I wanted to get something different. Not better than Popeye's though. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that feels something? Mm hmm. Mm. The fish is kind of thick, thick. It's a little thick, thick. It's got some weight to the sandwich. So, did y'all hear about what Monique said? Monique, the comedian. Now, I do believe I might have recorded. I think I did. Here we go. Listen to what Monique had to say. I believe this is on her podcast or something. Listen to them. And as we began to walk through the airport, I saw so many, actually too many to count, and too many for me to tap. But I saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets, scarves, slippers, pajamas, blankets wrapped around them, and this is how they're showing up to the airport. Blankets <laughs> I know exactly what they look like. The I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. I've been seeing sisters showing up with these bonnets and headscarves and these slippers. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? When did we step away of let me make sure I'm presentable when I leave my home? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. Okay, now I always used to be like that. I heard she getting dragged on on uh Twitter. Excuse me for making those statements. Now, why she's getting dragged, I do not know. 
I know it ain't nobody in our age bracket dragging her. I know it. Wait, you need, you need some ketchup? That's your ketchup right there. Um. Sure, of course, she's getting dragged by the slipper webs. Who be I dragging mean, their feet everywhere they go. <laughs> With their hot clothes on. And I can't say that I, I've never been to the store or out of the house with a bonnet on my head, but I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have. I agree with Monique. I really do. Um, if anybody ever had a mama show up to school oh my like God. that, with they, with their house robe on, holding it together, with slippers on because you didn't got in trouble and then she mad and she came on there. Right. And y'all knew back in the day be when, we, when we were anticipating our parents coming up there, we would always be thinking, oh my God, I hope that dress. Oh <laughs> my God, I hope this and I hope that. Because people judge. They judge. Even if you don't care about what people think, still. You know what I'm saying? You should care about what you think about yourself. But, um... <clears throat> mm. And she called them my babies. No. How they gonna drag them? She is trying to give people some wisdom, these kids, because that's what them. Well, it's not all kids, though. It's not all kids. But... I remember I started wearing slippers over shoes and wearing them places because mm -hmm. I, like, I was going through a depression. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't mm -hmm. care. And I was, you know what I'm saying? I was in a bad place. Thank God I came out of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's similar. Maybe they in some type of depression <laughs> or something. They could be, but I don't know. It has become the new style now. It's like, you know. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I think some of it has something to do with quarantine, you know, us being quarantined in the house. It ain't start with quarantine. But it ain't Maybe nothing it got wrong. Worse You're with right. Quarantine. You're right. But it ain't nothing wrong with wearing it in the house. But going to the grocery store with it and, you know, with robes on and. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. With robes <laughs> on and pajamas. Mm mm. We got to start carrying ourselves like the kings and queens that we are. I'm not going to lie. I have gotten into the car with a pair of pajamas on and a, uh, <coughs> and a bonnet. But I didn't get out of the car. She's so. making fun of me because I'll be putting on what she called my club clothes to go to the grocery store. Yeah, he's like... I'm gonna get dressed. I'm, you know, what I'm saying, I'm putting on some presentable oh clothes. I'm not gonna be going in the grocery store in my house clothes. That's all I be doing is putting on some regular clothes. No, no. But you try to <laughs> rag me about it. <laughs> oh, you putting your club shirt on? Like, come on. I mean, he be shirt. putting on it's chains just, and rings and stuff. Come on now. That's all. You ain't never seen come me on. put on a <laughs> ring or a chain to go to the grocery just store. <laughs> But let us know in the comments. Do y'all agree or disagree with Monique? Let me know. Then, this is one girl on TikTok. She made a response video to what um, Monique had said. She was mad. She got on there mad. She was like, basically, um, I don't have to look a certain way for white people. I didn't hear Monique say nothing about white people. And I was telling Marshall, I think that she said that because Monique is in the entertainment industry and she knows that white people run the entertainment like they, you know, own I'm trying to make the sense entertainment. of that. You're trying to make sense of that. Just no, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying that that's what <laughs> she uh, probably thought. But how ignorant to even say that. Like, she didn't say nothing about looking good for white folks. She was really, she was saying I looking guess. good. For us, like caring about how we look, not yeah, go ahead. I'm about to need a straw. What a straw is it? Oh, it was in that bag, and I put it in the trash. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Get both of them straws because I need one for my um, for my um, shape. I straight up threw them in the trash, too. You got them. 
Um, what was it? <clears throat> um, yeah, anyway, she just started going off on a tangent about her not having to look good for white people. And she just missed the whole point, Lord have mercy. Yeah, we gotta look good for, for ourselves and for each other. Just, you know, just to represent blackness in the upper, you know what I'm saying? Just, mm -hmm. come on, we gotta carry ourselves a certain way to be treated a certain way. Like, we, of course, right. people don't look down on us if we walk sliding around everywhere mm -hmm. we go. <laughs> Nobody's gonna tell you to see this. head raised on for real, bro. There's no hate. We're just trying to help elevate. Mmm. Mmm. Whataburger got the best food. If people only knew how good Whataburger is, mm. they would never step foot in another Jack in the Box, Burger King, McDonald's, or none of that other crap. You know who has similar burgers, though? Who? Dairy Queen. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. We need to do. Ooh, we need to do a versus. I knew we you need to do a versus lie. Dairy Queen versus Waterburger. That would be a good one. This is what. Waterburger already the one. Mm -mm. We gotta do a versus. Mmm. Mmm. I haven't had a shake in a long time. This is so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. That is delicious. Oh my god. I want to go back to Shake Shack. <laughs> they have some of the best shakes. Creamiest. Oh my god. So good. I know you remember. Not really. What? I remember the burger was alright. It ain't better than a water burger. You don't think that Shake Shack is better than water? Well, I don't know. I don't know. They're saying a lot because Shake Shack is hella expensive. It's hella good. <laughs> it ain't even all that. To me, yeah. Um, first of all, do you know what a sundown town is? Have you ever heard of a sundown town? Yeah, black what people better it? be out of there before the sun go down. Might get lynched. Like by the Texas. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, so, do you know, people been talking about it. Um... I'm just trying to figure out how is that acceptable. <laughs> I mean, look, we're, we're still living how? in America. The same people that had us in slavery and chains and bondage. And it just not I too mean, much long ago, we was in uncolored bathrooms and colored this and stand up because the bus full, you got to go to the back. It's the same place. It's the same people. I know. I understand that. But I'm just saying, like, they literally have come up with maps letting black people know where not to go. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? Let you know where the sundown towns are, where like the hate groups and stuff are. I had no clue it was something like that out there. Like, do they have one for every body? They got one for white people to tell them where not to go? Do they got one for Mexican people to tell them where this not to go? This is for black people to help them navigate and survive in the white man's world. Probably was made by black people for black people. Mm. I just, wow, how is that acceptable? How? How can you not be allowed in a town where there's law enforcement? You know, or. Because <laughs> the law enforcement are part of the same yeah, plan. I know. I know. That's going to come lynch you. Exactly. I heard that either the people of the town will run you out of there or the um, police officers. I'm like, what? How, it, but then I heard you can work there. You can work there, but you just can't be there after dark. That's crazy. 
And it's still they still got sundown times today. Yes. Really? Yes. Where is They've it? been I talking love, about it. I would love to like if I was rich, like if I had that George Floyd money, his family. We gonna go. We gonna go camp out in every sundown town. You know what I'm saying? In America, and we ready for whatever. You know what I'm saying? We finna mm-hmm. bush, you know, all of this stuff, we finna go head up against it. I know there's something, um, oh, this is good, good. In Illinois, um, I was looking it up on YouTube today. I said one that's really notorious is Anna, Illinois. Let us know if y'all know anything about that. I'm just like, wow. And remember, um, um, when Oprah, a long time ago, she went to <clears throat> a sun downtown. This is it mm-hmm. right here. Yeah, where they did not want to live around black people at all. They just wanted to live around white people. Mm-hmm. And Oprah went down there. Um, but she had her talk show down there. So she was speaking with the people and letting them, you know, speak their peace. And they was just calling us the N-word. And I, yeah. It, why they was talking to her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Y'all remember that Oprah show back in the day? I, I think I remember it. That's it right there? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you're entitled to feel like that. I don't want to live around no black people. I understand, but it's a free country. Why do you understand that? I can understand, just like I might not want somebody in my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I can understand that. If you want to be like that, you know. But to think that you that you can't. Well, I guess they've been doing it with force. But like, when does it stop? That's why I say we got to like we got to break all of these. All that stuff need to be broken. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's the sundown time. We can't be here after dark. Okay, and we coming deep too. And we fixed to be here, all up in the stores, we everywhere, until mm-hmm. something happens. Either something's going to happen, and we, you know what I'm saying, and it's going to snap, it's going to jump off, or you're going to back down, you're going to bow down, and you're going to stay in your place. One or the other. Something needs to happen. We have to confront all of this foolishness in order for it to go away. That's how I feel. Sundown town. What kind of country that dumb at? Let me stop. I'm, like... Oh my god. Really? I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean to the uh, person. Like yeah, are you gonna kill lynch- them? Like what are you gonna do? Yeah. Once upon a time they were doing real lynchings. Now I don't know if jokers that's around now is really is really about their life and they're gonna really come do something. But I mean who knows? I'm sure it is someone by the time they get drunk enough, they're gonna come looking for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna get drunk first, get full yeah, of that false exactly. courage. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how they gonna all get caught slipping too, get mopped up. Put an end to all of that. Whoever think they about it, come on. We're going to eliminate, and then there's no more problem. And there's no more sundown time after that. <laughs> Simple. Um, public service announced me, y'all. We can't be doing the road rage no more. People not playing no more. With this word, this road rage. Okay. We used to get away with it back in the day. Roll our eyes at somebody. Flipping the bird. Even roll down the window and cuss them out. Not anymore. People are not afraid to pull the trigger. Okay? They're not afraid. They don't care. Nobody cares anymore, y'all. Anyway, there was this lady, y'all. Somebody had cut her off. Somebody had cut her off. And um, she got mad, threw him the uh, bird. She um, exit 
wherever she was going to exit, and they exit with her, pulled around to the right-hand side of her. Anyway, shot at her. Um, shot at her, hit her son in the stomach. I believe they said the stomach. She had to rush him to the hospital, and he bled to death, y'all. And he died. Over that bullcorn. It's messed up. Over that bullcorn. So, yeah. Like, you know, some people were saying, sometimes you just got to let them have it. Just let them have it. You don't always got to respond. <clears throat> you know, I know people like that that just have to freaking, I was about to cut. They have to respond. Like, you don't always have to respond because you never know who you rolling up on. You never know. They can look weak, but honey, <laughs> just don't be playing with people now. Like, for real. Mm. This out here, it be some, it's something about these roads. It be some real anger brewing in people that's mm -hmm. driving. This ain't the people you want to be honking the horn at because you mad. Because mm -mm. they cut you off or whatever. Yeah, if you done moved down here, there's a lot of people moving to Houston and just to Texas, period. And I, it was one girl on TikTok complaining about how we drive and stuff. She was like, um, it made her want to get out and whip somebody behind. And people was telling her in the comments, no, you may not want to do that in Houston. <laughs> because they be pulling triggers, honey. Okay? And they don't play. They do not play. Expect people to cut you off. Mm -hmm. Expect to sit and wait to get off on the exit for like 10, 15 minutes. And then right when you at the edge about to get off, expect about six or seven people to come. And they can cut the whole line. When the skirt can come, you just let them in. And there's going to be traffic too. Just let them in. <laughs> so they, much freaking traffic. You, should, you shouldn't have moved down here for the weather, okay? Hmm. Soon you'll be doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Because it rubs off. Trust yeah, and believe. I used to be that. like that. Before I was bad too, boy. Oh my god, ripping inside like from lane to lane, um, getting mad at everybody, cussing everybody out. And then when I moved and everything slowed down, moved to the country, everything slowed down. I didn't have to be like that no more, and it was like I lost it. <clears throat> Still haven't gained it back yet since moving back here. And I don't want to. Because that is a dangerous way to be. And I know a lot of young people are like that. They high heads. You know, they be so excited to drive and stuff. <laughs> they be so excited to drive. They just don't know how dangerous driving is. Driving is dangerous. Just like riding a plane, all that is dangerous. <clears throat> Mm. There's a speeding too. The young people really don't understand how dangerous that is. I showed it. Speed just for no reason, just because you can. I went never like that. I drove fast, but I didn't speed. You know what I'm saying? You know how like people be like, "Oh, I'm about to go to 120." Yeah, push on the no. car to the limit. Let's see how fast it could go. It's unnecessary. That's crazy. See how fast it can go. That is just, <laughs> that is so dangerous. I can't believe how good this is. Y'all got a big batch of orders in today. They will be going out tomorrow. So thank y'all so much for ordering. I really, really appreciate it. Mm. That breakfast, oh my gosh. Wow. <clears throat> that was good. Way better than McDonald's. <sighs> I was thirsty today. Jeez. Anyway. Um, 
One more thing. Okay, so there was this guy, he got stopped. <clears throat> it was it was a traffic stop. Anyway, um they detained him for some reason and um he gave uh the police officers permission to check his car. And the police officer came back and said, first up, first of all, they had found some some weed, um, and they said that was um, more than what he needed to have had or whatever. And um, and they said, and we found some um, what did they call it? Some angel dust or some some type of. He, they said that it was a drug. And um. They was like, we, we tested it and it, it tested for drugs or whatever. Um, and he had the police officer, oh, no. And and he was like, what? What are you talking about? The guy was like, what are you talking about? I didn't have any um, any more drugs in my car. He was like, they were like, um, it was in the little um thing or whatever. He's like, I'll go get it for you. The police officer said, I'll go get it for you. So the police officer went to go and get it. And he brought it back, and he was like, no, that's my daughter, that's my daughter. Basically, it was the ashes of his daughter, his his child, okay? It was her ashes. They had said that they had tested it, and it tested it uh, positive for drugs. And he was like, it ain't no way, that's my daughter, that's my daughter. Anyway, I heard he's suing, um... <laughs> Yeah, he's suing them for that. They lied. They literally lied and said that they, like, they could have pent that on him. You know? No, they couldn't have. Because they would have gotten found out. I mean, it's a human's ashes. And anyway, it was his daughter. Um, not that long ago, um, his baby mama and her boyfriend starved the baby to death. And that's how she died. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, he's supposed to be suing the pants off of him. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. We gotta start making sure anytime you get stopped, black people, brown people, whatever color, I don't trust them jokers. I wouldn't trust them if I was white. <clears throat> Make sure you got a camera recording what's going on. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Cause they dirty. Yep, yep. They just be lying? Oh my gosh. Anyway, yeah. Well, that's all I have for today. Mm. Did you have anything? <sighs> I'm gonna read that again. <laughs> What's one pet peeve of yours that you wish that you could get rid of because it hampers the enjoyment of your life? Y'all answer that too. I want to know. I'm gonna answer it. Um, my anxiety it it hampers the enjoyment of my life. It's not a pet peeve though. It's a pet peeve of mine to have it. Mm. <laughs> <Shoot>. <laughs> your anxiety is one of your pet peeves, huh? Yes. I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any pet peeves that uh hinder my life in any type of way. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't that serious for me. You know. You don't have a pet peeve that you wish that you could get rid of? Mm. I don't really have any pet peeves like like the 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 you don't uh, have stuff that you the cannot toilet, stand. The, yeah, like the the um the toilet paper being on backwards, the oh, road being on backwards. God. Yeah, you... I'm gonna turn it around. It's, I'm just gonna turn it around. <clears throat> it don't hinder my life. It don't take nothing okay. but a second, you know. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. I don't really what have... do you miss most about being a kid? Y'all answer that too. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> I miss the the feeling of being free and um, not having to pay bills. Yeah, 
Not having to be responsible. <laughs> exactly. For, you know, That's the word, yeah. For your own well being and, you know. Just, mm -hmm. Everything done for you. I'm trying to think back to being a kid. Um, I miss playing in the woods with my friends. Yes, what it said. They said, what do you miss about it? So that wasn't the right answer. Um, yeah, I miss what playing do I in the miss? woods. You miss playing riding in the woods? Riding you know, all riding bikes, you know, just. It was the woods. The woods was special, though. What do I miss about it? We were so sheltered. I'm trying. <laughs> I know. I guess I miss going outside, playing with you know with everybody. Like it was so much fun, y'all, because we we grew up in apartments. It was so it would be so much fun when everybody would be outside. You know, like everybody. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about when you say, "Oh, everybody outside," and then you want to go outside and be with everybody. Probably not you, yeah. but. <laughs> Everybody, when everybody was outside, everybody was getting along. That was so much fun. We would get in the middle of the street, play four square. We would race. Um, you know, we do all kinds of stuff. We would just have so much fun here. I miss that about being a kid. That's what I miss. Sitting on the stairs, talking. You know, once you got older, that's what you started to do. You stopped you know, being in the middle of the street. And you start sitting on the stairs looking cute with your hair done, nails, you know, just to sit on the stairs. <laughs> just to come outside and sit on the stairs. The light, huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is what I miss. Um, I miss the Cosby show coming on at 7 o'clock on Thursdays. I you don't even remember? remember what time? Well, it's seven mm. o'clock on Thursday. I never forget. Mm. That reminds me, <clears throat> y'all. Bill Cosby. <clears throat> they could have. They know they could have let I, that um, man out on probation or parole, bro. Here you go. Bill Cosby denied parole for refusal to take the sex offender class, y'all. He feels like he didn't do anything wrong, so he is not going to conform to these classes that they want him to take. So he must is going to like do the full ride because he could have gotten parole. He could have got parole. I mean, they said amongst other things, that's why they said that they weren't going to parole him, but that was one of them. I wonder that's what the crazy. other things were. But anyway, um Oh, yeah, man. so he refused to do that. He's been in there for how long? He's been in there for three years? It must be three years. So they gave him three to ten. So, you know, he's standing his ground. And they're saying that they hope that um, they throw out something and he he's able to come home. Oh, really? Yeah, so <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, <clears throat> but... Bill is standing his ground. Well, God bless Bill. He must be innocent then. Only an innocent man would do that. He, like... You know what I'm saying? I know. Only an innocent I man would do that. taking the classes Thank you. to get up out of there. I, I, I could be an innocent man. And you want me to take the in the class really? to get out of here? Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. But if you truly innocent and you got this, like... It's bigger than that. It's it's bigger than being in jail. It's his, uh, his principle with him. Like, he's not... He's innocent and he's not going to accept. I don't know. I understand that, but wow, that's I could have I couldn't have did that. I'd have had to come home. Me too. What about y'all? Y'all was in some classes. Man, God bless Bill Cosby. I hope he can. How old is he? Ain't he like eighty eight? Mm. He yeah, he's on. He's gonna be he's ninety. Almost ninety years old, man. Golly. It's yeah. Anyway. Because I've always been nothing but a positive role model and influence on the back on the black community. On kids, yeah. yeah. That's all I ever remember of From him. From Fat Albert cartoon before. Fat, I was yeah, just you know about saying? to mention Fat and Albert. And then Cosby Show. Hey, hey, hey. 
always like, had a positive I message. I remember that. I used to love it so much. Oh, my god! It, was, it wasn't no just silly cartoon. It was something positive for them to learn. Little you know Bill. Jaden used yep, to little love Bill. Little Bill. Bruh. He used to love him. I remember how he got connected to Little Remember how he was connected to uh, Little Bill? What you mean? Like, he would... um. He like he really liked Little Bill. You don't remember that? Yeah. He really like, and I think he really liked him because he looked like him. Yeah, that was exactly. the only was little the kid on TV <clears throat> that looked like him. Mm -hmm. And he would get right in front of that TV to watch um, Little Bill. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, that's it. It's time to go. You enjoy your food. Oh, my food was delicious. <laughs> both sandwiches. Yeah, you can tell. I ate both of mine. I'm talking about I ain't going to eat this. Mm, yeah, I didn't think he was going to eat it. Uh, I guess since we changed the time, <clears throat> now you you eat all your food. Cause that's funny because you. I guess you really wasn't hungry before. I wasn't. I told you I wouldn't be hungry. I mean, literally just woke up. I just thought you was in a bad mood. I didn't think that you really wasn't hungry. Every day, day after day, you thought I was just in a bad mood? I, yeah, no, nah, I don't be hungry when I wake up. Yeah, he would say, I'm not even hungry. <sighs> so this is when you're hungry. Exactly. Anyway, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> For everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 uh, uh. And we'll see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all.